ATF overpayments, let's go ahead and talk about it. What's up Wolverines? Welcome back to John Crump News where we discuss everything to a related. I'm your host, John Crump. That's going to jump in a time machine and bring us back two years. I'll explain that in a second. But before that, like, comment, and subscribe. It would be really, really helpful. There has been stories going around today and yesterday about ATF overpayments to agents. And I could cover what's going on with the new report and everything. But I decided I'm going to jump in a little time machine and take us back two years from when I reported on what is going on that is now just being investigated by the government. I don't really understand it. But I'm going to link my article from two years ago down below so you can read it yourself. Okay, so there's been ATF overpayment. And there's something called LEAP, which stands for Law Enforcement Availability Pay which gives bonuses to law enforcement agents, such as ATS special agents. But let's go ahead and go back two years to where a whistleblower named Joe approached the media and said that the ATF was giving leap pay to IOIs. IOIs are industry operations investigators and they are not law enforcement agents. They are not the special agents. So they do not qualify for leap pay, but they were given leap pay. Now, this information specialist that worked in the ATF's HR department reported this up the chain to his management that all these people are getting paid money that they do not deserve and they don't qualify for. What the boss did is fire Joe. <laughs> Can't make that up. They, they fired Joe. And so he went to o OPM, which is the Office of Personnel Management, which manages not only the ATF personnel, but all personnel. They issued a report where they found 94 employees collected leap pay when they were not entitled to it because they were not law enforcement. And this is very, very disturbing. OPM called it fraud, and it is definitely fraud. What happens to these people? I'm not really sure. But yeah, it is uh, kind of interesting that they paid all this money out to people that don't deserve it. And when someone reported this up the chain, instead of him getting an award or something because he found people committing fraud, they fired him. The Office of Special Counsel for OPM actually found that there was a substantial likelihood of wrongdoing. And that was an internal investigation that turned that up. It was like an independent investigation that turned it up. So now there is a report out and there might be other things in motion that this started i can't really say too much but we will be hearing a lot about this report later and it's going to be fireworks that's all i'm going to say but the people that received the pay i don't think that they were fired i can't be for certain but I'm pretty sure they were not fired, but these were industry operations investigators who we know have violated the law by taking pictures of bound books and stuff like that. So it's just another abuse by an agency that's out of control and they cannot even control their own people, but yet they want to control your rights. Short video, just wanted to point out my old article and link it down below. So go ahead and check that out. I should be dropping one more video at least today and doing a live stream on John Crump Live. Go ahead and check it out. It's going to be definitely interesting. And the other video is going to be eye-opening as well. All right, guys, stay ever vigilant, stay ever free. Keeping the fight, I'm out of here, Wolverine's mother.